She's making me do this. Do you want to put the tree up? No. Why? I have no desire to put a tree up. <laughs> Can't be stuffed putting the tree up. You want to put a tree up? <clears throat> yeah. Let's go hunting. We're not hunting. Right, go, go on. Yeah. Alright, so where are we going to put the tree? Um, I think there, see? but only because then when I'm right. sitting at the, the couch, we can see the tree. <laughs> but like this corner is really bare. Maybe we could stick it in there. What do you think? I, I don't know. Pretty, um, I don't know about that corner. It's can I add that you just said we don't have frames? It's frames. Frames. They're not the right size. Frames. Oh my god. Frames. Okay, Christmas is finally here and here is my goodie box of Christmas stuff that I have been collecting for a while. So this one is Jacob's Peace stocking. This one, this is my stocking. And uh, last year when we were planning on having a baby, we bought this one, my first Christmas, which is very relevant now because we do have a little bubble coming. Say hello, Sophia. All right, what else is in here? This little hanging star of bells. It's really awkward with one hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sorry for the awkward camera angle. He's going to cop a big shot of my Christmas belly. Mm. Mm. Uh. Has my head grown? Why doesn't this fit me? Your head hasn't, but your ego has, so I guess, you know. That's rude. <laughs> okay. Seriously. There we go. Oh. Does your head grow when you get pregnant? I'm ready for Christmas. This is all old school stuff. This is my grandmother's stuff. I don't even know how old this stuff is. Like some of these decorations go back to the fifties, I think. So um, we've got some retro, we have a retro tree. That's for sure. What's in here? This is really awkward to do with one hand. Oh, that's a little Christmas ornament. That was my grandmother's. There's the star for the top of the tree. Oh, the little Santa ornament. This was my grandmother's as well. Lots of fond memories of Christmas at her place, but she's she's in a nursing home now. So ah, here are the retro ornaments. Yay! Except this one here, I bought that. I bought that last Christmas, so. Let's lay all this out nicely. Here's another tray of retro ornaments. They're so faded, but to me, that's what Christmas is because they were always on Mars tree. Same with this bag of balls. I don't know if I'll use those. What else is in there? These ones. <laughs> oh. 
Look at this new Tremetics box from like 1962. I'm sure it's not Avon. But it's full of stuff. More ornaments. And all that jazz. All that Christmas fun. Oh, these are the... These, um... Excuse me. Oh, indigestion. These lights here are like so old school. We can't get bulbs for them anymore, but anyways. We've got a bunch of tinsel in here. We could convert them to LED. But we got, we ended up buying some LED lights, so. Let's get this all stuff. Every year, I try and buy something a little bit, like just, I just add to my Christmas collection of stuff. So this year, I went into Kmart and I got a tree skirt. A pretty tree skirt. I'm hoping it's not too big for the tree because it's only a small tree, so it might look a little disproportionate, but anyways. And what else? I bought a reindeer and he lights up. He, his antlers light up. Um, possibly not. Hey, Milf. <laughs> it's the best tree in the world, you know why? Because it's Mars tree. Nope. Th that too, mind you. Because it's small. Small trees mean you don't have to fill it that much. <laughs> I don't care about the size of trees, really. This tree just has a lot of sentimental value. And that, no, it's pretty good. To me, that's better than having the biggest, most impressive, expensive tree in the world. I'm just going to re gaff. Sorry, what'd you say? I said I couldn't give two craps about having the biggest, most expensive tree in the world because this one, you can't put a price on it, literally. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I'm thinking of just getting you more... Um, more Christmas um, presents and they're all going to be probably like kitchen kitchen stuff so you can feel right at home. Oh, really? Yeah. I know your favourite place to be is in the kitchen, cooking your food. Oh, I love that. Cooking your man. Couldn't food. think of anything better I'd rather do than cook you dinner. That's right. Ta -da! How much more tinsel is in the box? Oh look! There's a bloody nativity scene in here. I didn't even know. So you're telling me they've been sitting there? Oh, I didn't know. even know this was in here. Oh, it's pretty cool. Oh, we can set up like a hunting theme. Why? With baby Jesus? No way. Do you know how to set this up? I've never set one up before. Excuse me, I'll have you know, the best time to teach of gun safety is when they're young. Where's Jesus? He's probably out in the field hunting. It looks like... Is that Mary? Yeah, but you know what that looks like? What? Um, Star Wars... <laughs> thing. There was a goat? The birth of Jesus was there. There we go, make a nice curry. Who's this guy? Oh, this is one of the three wise men, no? Yes. What else is in here? A mukiao. They look a bit dirty. They're a hundred years old. Another one of the wise men? Cool. What did the wise men bring? 
They brought. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> no, they Isn't did. Is it gold merchant Mer and, and and frankincense? Ah, I oh, yeah. I was trying not to say Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein. Well, who's this guy? Is that G? That's God. Is that God? For real? I've never set up. What do we? What do you? What do you think this is? We're bloody. Um. What are they called? The Indian with the oh, five hands. Crazy eyes. You're there. Where? How does that make me? Uh, <laughs> hold on. No, see, <laughs> he actually came back from a hunting trip. Ah, oh, really? Hence the goat on his back. So, so what I'm gathering here is in Christmas we should actually be going hunting, as per the nativity scene. The archangel. I don't know. Well, it's a little. She's got wings, but they look like. Well, I'm a little concerned here, because as you can see, if you can spot, let's go here. Looks like she's got like horns on her head. No, it's a cream. It's a like um, little crown. Look, there's a donkey mm -hmm. and a sheep. I found baby Jesus. Oh. He needs to go in his cradle. There you go. Uh, you need to. There we go. Welcome home, Jesus. Sure, this thing doesn't have Ku Klux Klan written all over it. No. You've got a white nativity scene. Not one of them are black, and they're in the desert. They're figurines, man. Give him a gnome. What did the gnome ever do to you? No, I didn't do it. Your pop did. <laughs> see? Everything <laughs> seems to have a... Um, so even by the neck. Are you sure he wasn't the Grinch? <laughs> no, he was just a funny old guy. Alright, time to put the star on the tree. If it doesn't fit, I can drill it out. Yay. You can't even see it in this shot. It's getting cut off. Is it straight? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, let's pack it away. Don you look, see? Your head's been cut off. How he does that? You try one? This is how you dance. This isn't how this happened. 